Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Trying something a little different today. Since I have all these lenses, well, not that I have a ton of lenses, but I've got enough lenses to play around with, and now I've got a few camera setups to work with, I decided that today I would put the Sigma 24-70 art lens on my Sony a7C and use that to vlog with. <laughs> yeah, it's friggin' heavy. I am not tight shirt Terry. I'm pathetically wobbly monkey, and I'm gonna pay for this, I know, but it's all in the spirit of discovery. Now, I am going to use it in such a way that, I mean, there's no stabilization. Forget about the stabilization being turned on. In fact, I'm gonna have to turn it off. I have it on right now, but I also have it set to 1 500th, which is what I'm gonna use so that I can use Catalyst Browse to stabilize this later, because this is gonna be jittery as all hell because it's so heavy. And I'm gonna take care of that. For now, I'm gonna run into Whole Foods, I'm gonna take this camera off here before I get into the lot so no one sees it, and then we'll pick this back up when I get to Pleasure House Point. Oy, what a whirlwind. No shit, I literally pulled into this parking lot a couple hours ago, I was getting ready to grab my cameras and go out, and I got a work call. Long story short, I had to turn around and go home to do stuff because the deadline was pretty much right now. And here we are. So we're back at Pleasure House Point, and I have the Sony a7C with the Sigma 24 to 70, and I'm shooting at 1 500th f 2.8 auto iso so it's all over the place you can see oh and i can't hold this out here for long because this damn thing is super heavy some seriously creamy background separation there but there's no way that i'm going to be holding this thing out here the whole time i'm walking not if i want to be able to move my arm in a little while I may have to go and take this off of manual and let the camera do everything so that the shit isn't blown out because it's just too big of a pain in the ass to be carrying both of these big ass camera setups and having to keep switching things around. So let's do that. Yeah, already that's much better. I have it on shutter priority, but of course I have it set to 1 500th still. But see how it's, it's stopped everything from being blown out? much better. So here's our first birdie. Another golden, or I mean yellow crowned night heron. They seem to be the, uh, what they tell me, like the, the mascot bird here. I kind of don't want to be done with this walk. So we're going to cut back into the woods here. And just walk through here. When I was in grade school, my friend John Pritchard and I used to have an annual weenie roast. And what do I mean by that? Well, every year we packed up a bag, we brought a six pack of some kind of soda, and we got a package of hot dogs, a package of marshmallows, like a bunch of paper matches, things like that. And then we walked into the woods until we found a spot that felt right. And then we built ourselves a little fire and we roasted the, the hot dogs and the marshmallows and drank that six pack of Coke or whatever it was and just had a good time. It was great. And we also had bay leaf joints. We literally took bay leaves and wrapped them up in like lined paper <laughs> and we smoked them and thought we were really cool. Who knows what kind of damage that did to our lungs. But every time I come into the woods like this, I fondly think of John and, and our annual weenie roast. I miss those days. We definitely want to come back here as kids and hang out. I 
think you get the gist. I really wish one of two things, or maybe both, that this setup with the A7C in its cage and the Yulanzi tripod and all that stuff and the Sigma 24-70 art lens, I wish it wasn't so heavy and or I wish that I was massively stronger so that I could carry it around with no problems because just on this screen, this looks amazing. It, it just looks so, so wonderful with the separation and everything and keeping it, at, you know, at basically f2.8 and 1 500th so that Catalyst Browse can work its magic. I think it's, I think it's going to look spectacular once I get it rendered. That's pretty much it. I, I got my Zen. I'm very much more calm now. That's all you get for today. Just a simple test with the Sony a7C and the Sigma 24 to 70 on this contraption using the Sennheiser MKE 200. Let me know what you think. How's it look? How's it sound? How's the fake S Cinetone with this combination? All right. Well, as always, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the little trip through here. I know I've been doing this every day. Haven't done it with this combination yet. Probably won't do it that often because it's so heavy. I'm gonna pay for this. Definitely gonna pay for this. But as always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.